Hey, Jaden, hey, congratulations for a needle in a, in a time stack. Thank you so much. Hey, so um, the la last project you did was Scorpion. So what, what attracted you to a project like Needle in a Time Stack? Um, John Ridley. <laughs> um, <laughs> Great director. Uh, <laughs> yes. Listen, anytime he decides to explore something, I'm a topic, I'm, I'm ready you know, to jump on board. Um, I think for me, like with this project, I was really pulled in to um, just sort of the adventurous spirit of Zoe. Like that really sort of um, resonated for me. And also just the exploration of the sibling dynamic between Zoe and Nick, you know? I don't think that people, at least I don't, I'm, I'm, I haven't been exposed to too many um, relationships on film where it's like exploring that sibling dynamic. Yes, could you tell tell us more about this uh, dynamic between Zoe and Nick? Of course, you know it, it is a a multiracial uh, siblings that, that a lot of people will be, you know, would would find out as as they watch the film. Yeah, well, I, you know, just to touch on that point, I think what was so wonderful just because it there's no explanation for it, right? It just is, you know. And I think that that is a world that I want to live in where it's just like, no, it just is. That's called norm. It's just normal because that exists. Right. And we don't need to talk about it. We don't need to make that sort of the forefront. Um, so I sort of love that aspect of it. Um, you know, I would say with like, I would say that Zoe is sort of the grounding influence for Nick. Um, that's what I would say. Um, and yeah, I just loved sort of the unchangeable status of their relationship, you know, in, in the film uh, relative to some of the other relationships that are explored. I know when I first uh, watched the film, I, I thought your role was only to uh, to speak over the phone, but you actually had a physical presence. In the film. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Could you, could you talk about the interaction uh, with uh, Leslie uh, in, in, in the film um, who, uh, who stars in, in, as the main character, Nick, in the film? Just um, like... Yeah, your interaction. As, with, well, okay. Yeah, no, I, I mean... I mean, I just remember like all my friends were obsessed with Hamilton when, um, you know, during that time and they would like be singing and playing it like at work and, and just the car and... I still have not had the chance to see it. Um, but, you know, Leslie was just such a, a gracious and present scene partner, right? And I think one of the things that I found so admirable is like, I just remember, you know, his intention was to just keep learning and, and to get better. And that was like, I was just, I don't know, I just found that really, like, um, just really, like, inspiring to just sort of see that. I'm actually amazed that you're the only one on this planet to, to admit that uh, you have not seen Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> it's COVID, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's because it's COVID, you, you, everyone has seen Hamilton or Tiger King or or even that latest uh, Squid Game. I, I think that's, that's that's what's going on. Oh, I meant in like the theater. Like in the oh, theater. in theater. Like like as far as Broadway, right? Like I haven't seen it like on Broadway. Oh, no, that, that's a good excuse. Yeah, I, 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 I have I haven't gone to Broadway in a while <laughs> myself too. So now your character your character is also uh, not only that she's a unique sibling. She uh, she also has a, a unique dating habit. Uh, could you talk more about about that? Yeah, I mean, I think she's as far as just the exploration of her um, backstory. I think that you know it's sort of creating that to sort of like inform. Okay, this is what she's expressing, so I can only sort of deduct and make these like assumptions of like what her past has been like right um 
but I think that what we learn is that, um, you know, there's a, there's a personal event that happens. And I think that that really shifts and makes her shifts her paradigm and actually makes her reassess her viewpoint. So I'd be really curious to go like, you know, how that would sort of change her love life, you know, like with sort of that, um, that shift now, like, uh, that happens. Now, of course, um, the one, um, the woman that, uh, she, she dates in the film is, um, Correct me wrong. Is, is was the the other character Portuguese or was it Brazilian? Um, but she speaks Portuguese. That that's what I did recall. Yeah, and I think that um, they're they're best friends. Like that was the the relationship there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I think it was just kind of funny to me. Is uh, how how do you be best friends if you can't speak the same language? <laughs> you know that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, I think that 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 was really interesting because. I, I think that I also sense that like Zoe was quite like tactile. And so it's almost like, you know, just the activities that they engage in, right? A lot of it is just like, um, just a, for lack of a better way, it's just like, you, it's just not using language to communicate. Um, I mean, I don't know how that works, but apparently she does. So, you know. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, I guess this, you know the, the the film Needle and Time Stack. Technically, in a way, it's a it's a sci fi film, but it's more of a love story, don't you think? In oh, absolutely. Um, I think it's yeah, it's it's in a nutshell like a a love story, and I think that the time travel element just um, you know it gives a context and and provides sort of like the the obstacle, if you will, um, in a different form than maybe what we're used to. What what do you think about this time traveling stuff? Would you ever, you know, go back in the past to change or experience something yourself? Oh man. <laughs> um You know, that's such a good like cuz you know one of the questions like the film left me asking was like is it po you know is it possible to rewrite your life and if so would you? But then there's also that element of like, or is making peace with like, what is, that's the wiser choice, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I would say, I would, I would probably meddle with some things and just trust that, um, you know, whatever is like time travel or whatever your like element it will account for my meddling. Does that make sense? So just basically, trust that. It, basically what you're saying is that you would have totally accept the consequences of your meddling if, if you change something in the, in the past. Yeah, and trust that it'll work out. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Do you, do, you, do you enjoy, you know, sort because of, I know you did many seasons of Scorpion and um, this is much more of a sci-fi film. Do you, do you enjoy sort of like uh, this type of genre, sort of like the the sci-fi geeky uh, type of genre? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It confuses the heck out of me. Um, I'm, I, it's like, it's like this totally brain muddled. Um, it's just, I'm much more comfortable with um, just the, you know, the simple uh, cause and effect, which I think is, you know, uh, the premise of the, of this story, right? That that's my entry point, just cause and effect. <laughs> That's okay. So for, for so many years, I don't even know what your half half the stuff your characters were saying in on Scorpion. You, 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 you make you make that character seem so intelligent and, and yourself so intelligent at the same time. So Me neither. Me neither. I just you know, I just I just say what they tell me to say. <laughs> <laughs> Both excellent. And and one, one more thing. So this was your chance to uh, go under the direction of John Ridley. How was he um, in person uh, as, as a director? I mean, this, this must have been a terrific experience. It was, I mean, it was a dream. It, it really was. I, I, you know, have admired his, his work as a writer and um, just found his writing and his practice so, like, courageous. You know, it advocates change in it, and he, it just looks and sees at what's going on in the world. And um, as far as like 
my experience, he just led with such grace and, and gentleness. And that was like, he really set the tone and it was just such a beautiful experience. Like I'm so grateful for that experience. That is terrific. And so, so what's up um, next uh, for you? Or are you just going to ch chill out uh, during this COVID period, period of time? I mean, chilling out is always nice. Um, but I'm, I'm actually just exploring and working on a, a few things. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, but um, yeah, I hope to like be able to share it at some point. So, Most excellent. Well, Jaden, hey, thank you very much uh, for sharing this conversation for us about Needle in the Time Stack. I can't wait to, uh, to see you and more, more stuff in the future. Awesome. Thanks, Gig. Hey, thank you.